What's up guys, Coach Josh here from Colossus Fit and today I'm going to show you how to properly perform the easy bar curl. Let's waste none of your time and jump right into it. First things first is going to be your selection. I recommend the easy bar curl over a straight bar. It's just going to be a little more natural on your wrists. If you only have a straight bar, there's nothing wrong with that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab our bar. In terms of arm placement, you have a couple options. You can have your hand outwards here in the knurling or in the twist if you will. You can also have it inward in the twist. I'd recommend going a little wider being in this position. From here, you're gonna get a nice shoulder width stance. You're gonna squeeze your glutes, and this is where people go wrong. My glutes are uh, squeezed, it's hard for me to hinge, whereas my glutes are loose, I can really get my back into it. That's where you're gonna encounter problems. So from here, I'm gonna squeeze my glutes. I'm gonna push my elbows forwards like this, really brace into my abs. I'm gonna curl up, get a big squeeze into my bicep. I'm gonna go down with control just before my elbow locks out. Now, a pro tip here, if you want to get more out of this exercise, when you're curling, it's easy to try and bend your wrist to complete the movement like this. Instead, keep your wrist, your wrist fixed. You're going to get a lot more out of this movement by keeping this fixed, pulling in and keeping a nice squeeze here. So once again, I'm going to grab it where it feels comfortable. Elbows are going to come in front. I'm going to squeeze up into that bicep, come down with control just before my elbow locks, come up again, control. As you get tired, you're going to want to swing, but keep your butt squeezed big curl here go right through the arms and if you find you're actually swinging way too much here simply put your back up against the wall it's going to take the movement out so go a little lighter when you do that it'll be humbling but it'll really help you perfect this form now i want to show you three common mistakes that people make maybe you'll make that will keep you safe when doing this movement before we do that i have a free form guide totally free down below 60 pages every exercise you could think of it's like a personal trainer in your pocket. It's gonna show you before and after with the common mistakes. So pick that up, totally free, my gift to you. Now into the common mistakes. Mistake number one might surprise you, and this is elbow positioning. If I let my elbows drip behind me here, I'm gonna be doing half reps. It's really easy to do this. If I bring them way in front and I start hooking to the front, I'm gonna bring in way too much momentum. I'm gonna bring in the shoulder and I'm gonna take away the opportunity from working the biceps. And that's why it's important, keep your elbows just in front of you keep them static here and squeeze from this position and fight that need to have them hook forward. Or as I was demonstrating, if they're back like this, I'm only doing quarter reps. I'm not gonna get very much from this movement. So you want them right in front, a big squeeze. And this is where you're gonna be most optimal. Number two, I've already told you this one, but I wanna show it in more detail. This is my wrist positioning here. So watch, I'm gonna do what I said not to do. I'm gonna curl in for my wrists. I'm taking a lot out of this movement. I'm taking it away from my bicep. Instead, what I'm gonna do is squeeze my glutes, keep my wrist fixed. You can see I can get a couple more inches on that movement. I can get a really full contraction. And a full contraction is gonna allow me to have a fuller bicep. So if you're shorting yourself, you're gonna notice your peak is not what it could be. So really be aware of this and really learn to do this properly off the bat. Number three is momentum. We don't wanna be doing this, as fun as it is to grab a lot of weight and swing. Take it out, like I said, put your back against the wall, Elbows in position. This is really gonna force you to get really disciplined quality reps. So you can't go wrong by taking out the momentum and putting your back to the wall. That's it, you're the pro. Get out there, grow those biceps, get some killer peaks. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in. If I helped you today, help me out by smashing like, subscribe, all that great stuff. Peace out.